I grew up in Oneida, South Dakota, which is a small town located in the central part of the state, East River. It's very small. We don't have much of anything. Um, while growing up, I did a lot of extracurricular activities. My mom's a school teacher, so she definitely knows the importance of doing things besides just sports. So I did basketball track and I rodeoed as well because we grew up on a ranch. And I was also involved in a lot of academic extracurricular activities like FCCLA, Student Council, Honor Society, National Honor Society, and Honor Roll. So I had a lot of, I didn't have a lot of free time, but I had a lot of things that I kept myself busy. It was definitely different culture shock coming to a D2 school because I'm going to a school with 5,000 people there and I came from a town of 500, so it's a little bit different, but I mean, everyone knows everyone and everyone supports everything and I wouldn't want it any other way. Um, I've met so many people and I know all my professors and they can call me out by name and that was something that was very intriguing by coming from a small school. And also, um, I'm from East River, so it's very flat over there and the hills are beautiful and I just love the scenery because there's so much you can do outside of just the amazing school. You can hike and there's so much outdoor activities you can do that just kind of fell in love with the hills. So. Um, currently my major is elementary education. I'm finishing my fifth year in it and elementary education wasn't always my major. I switched from mass comm. Working with kids and they finally get a concept or finally master a skill, it's just so rewarding and every day is just a new experience that I get to just educate the lives of others. So I'm literally changing some people's lives. So that's just a definitely a rewarding feeling for me. Definitely the student part comes first in my mind. Um, I came here to get a degree and that's what's always been my focus, but definitely basketball plays an important role in my life as well, so just the opportunity to do both and represent Black Hill State honestly is a dream come true. I've got to meet so many people and impact so many kids' lives that it definitely has just left a very humble experience on my life and definitely has made me humble throughout the years that I've been able to work with these people and get to meet these people. So. Academics has played a huge part and has definitely changed my life for the better. How I balance school and athletics is definitely time management. I have a planner that I write everything I have to do in and sticky notes are all over my house, in my room, in my car. As soon as I get done with practice, I eat something and I go straight to the books and it's just knowing what you have to do and making the time to do that. So coming back from two surgeries and being in the conference championship was definitely a goal that we had throughout the whole season. I was a part of the first team to make the national tournament for Black Hill State since we became Division II and that definitely was the most amazing experience I could have. I mean, we battled hard throughout the entire year and we didn't really know if we were going to get it, but we got the bid. So knowing that like I made history at Black Hill State, that's definitely one of my top moments. Um, another moment is being, having the opportunity to play with my sister. Uh, not every day do you get to have sisters on a basketball team or be good at the same sport. So, I mean, every moment with her and every time that I get to experience that with my family is definitely something that I'll always cherish and remember. What I do to motivate myself before, the game, before a game is I first read my Bible and I just, because I always play for my Lord and Savior and I just know that he always has, has me and he gave me these talents so I want to perform for him. And I also, we have like a jam session in our locker room before every game with like the whole team. Uh, we listen to some pump up music, get ourselves pretty rowdy. And then since I have came back from two surgeries, it takes me a little bit in the training room. So then I have to go there and uh, talk with my trainers and get myself mentally and physically prepared for the game. So what motivates me is again, just going back to like that year I couldn't play. I definitely just think back to that and how I felt just sitting on the bench and I'm like, all right, this is my game day. I'm ready to go. So. I mean, it's my last year. I've been playing basketball since I was in the second grade. So it's definitely gonna be different without it, but I'm just gonna try to make the most out of it and not sweat the little things, just enjoy the journey and just try to push myself and get 1% better every day. Even though I am um, a student athlete, I am president of the SAC, the Student Athlete Advisory Committee. And I'm also a member of the South Dakota Association, so I'm involved in volunteer work through that. I also do um, volunteer work through a local church here in Spearfish, so I just like to be out in the community and always help try to make someone's life better. I've had the privilege to work with some amazing people. and. Uh, we do like a banquet, so I get to work with other athletes from all different sports. And I also get to work with like administrators on 
issues that are occurring around Black Hill State or in the NCAA and it's just knowing that I have a part of like changing legislation for the NCAA is very uplifting and very cool to be experienced of and it's definitely made me just um, experience like the business side of the real world because I don't necessarily get that all the time with my major so it's definitely like provided me with amazing experiences for talking with people, communicating with people, and working with other people. I help out with Special Olympics every year. Um, that's kind of a thing the Student Athlete Committee, Advisory Committee puts on or helps out with. So we've had the privilege of hosting the South Dakota State Special Olympics here. So I got to help with like the opening ceremonies and running. The women's basketball team does like the long jump pit. So I got to help doing that and just like meet and mingle with the athletes around here. Um, our tutor kids throughout the week as well and just we already impact their lives so much that it kind of feels like it's volunteer work, but I mean, it's kind of what I'm just born and the passion I have. So other than that, I don't really have any internships, but I get the privilege of going to an elementary school every day. Most of the time when you're a student athlete, you don't get that much free time. But when I do have that free time, I enjoy being outside and hiking around the hills. And I also just enjoy hanging out with my friends or my sister who also goes to school here. But I also love to read. So anytime you find me, you could probably find me in a book. The advice I would give for an uh, incoming student athlete for academics and athletics is just to enjoy the process and enjoy all these experiences and everything that has been thrown at you. Um, it may seem like a lot at first, but I've been here five years and it does not feel like I've been here five years. And it, I mean, it goes by just like that. So I would just say enjoy it. Try to meet as many pe new people as you can. Try to encounter yourself with all of these new experiences because like Nori reminds us almost every day is like this is the best time of your life. I mean, you have this opportunity to play a sport you're so passionate about and you have the opportunity to be surrounded by people who are just as passionate about that same sport. So, I mean, you're never, you're, you make some of your best friends throughout both student life and athlete life. So I would just say, enjoy it and embrace every little thing that's thrown at you because it definitely will go down as the best five years of my life, that's for sure.